कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं अब तो हमें आगे बढ़ते हैं रहना अब तो हमें साथी है बस इतना ही कहना अब जो भी हो शोला बनके पत्थर है पिघलाना अब जो भी हो बादल बनके पर्वत पर है छाना When you're on the high seas, there's something under the sea that you can't see. As enemy shipping makes their way over the water, they don't realize that underneath the water lurks death. This is the story of the submarine arm of the Indian Navy. The silent deadly killers. And to take Mayur, myself and all of you right down into this magnificent beast of a fighting machine is Commander Vakil. Hi sir, how are you? Fine. Welcome on board. Now a word of caution as we said to enter inside the submarine. This being an operational platform, we got a lot of all the machineries in the operational state. So when you walk inside the submarine, make sure you don't touch any equipment, no machineries are to be touched, no walls are to be touched. That means I can't get to try to no, drive this out. <laughs> no, you cannot. I'm trying to get in and about 15 feet down there is where I have to go. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit into this. But nothing ventured. Nothing gained. Say best of luck, Mayur. Best of luck, Mayur. <laughs> Submarines are made for guys who are a little leaner than I am. This is a vertical ladder going straight down. If you scared of heights or tight spaces, do not apply for a job on a submarine. Wow, this is nice. We well, are the captain of this submarine in a very important room. So thank you very much for having us. My pleasure to have you on board. Hi, sir. Hi, welcome. So, so what room is this? We call this room as the control room yeah. because this is actually the hub of all activities. It controls everything right from my steering to my diving depth to my firing of weapons. And that's, it's, it's the roomiest and the coolest place on the submarine. This as compared to the other uh, compartments in the submarine is a little more spacious and uh, I guess you can move that much more freely in this compartment. So what is this thing that both Rocky and I are very casually leaning on? We've been told not to touch too many things <laughs> and stuff. But what is this? Well, this is what is known as the periscope. Right. This periscope has got a monocular vision. Right. You can see the, through the periscope. Okay. And oh, what wow. you can see from outside uh, is uh, the ships on the surface. So if, when, the, when you're sailing on the high seas and you're close to the surface, somebody will be standing here with an eye on this at all times. When we have the periscope up, right. there is an officer specifically designated for this who will be on watch and who will be controlling the entire maneuver of the submarine. So you can't ever be caught by surprise because somebody is always keeping an eye out. But is that the role of a submarine? I mean, what does a submarine do? Is it a defensive well, role? Well, you know, uh, the submarine is actually a platform of uh, offense. Purely? Uh, yes, obviously. Uh, and uh, we are actually designed to just go undetected, attack our uh, enemies and come back undetected. So this is an extremely challenging job. I mean, it, it seems like a really hard job uh, for anyone to do, staying in cramped conditions for weeks on end. Uh, you know, it's hot, the air is not changed for hours, you can't bathe. What are some of the attributes that you look for in your men? You know, people do get claustrophobic and mm. uh, submarine, I can tell you, is not a place for claustrophobic people. Submarine arm is a voluntary arm. Mm. Unless you volunteer for it, nobody would force you in. And I can only assure you, anybody who's got the sense of adventure in him only can volunteer for this arm. So, I mean, teamwork must be really important because here you are with a whole set of people enclosed in a small area for long periods of time under a lot of pressure. Teamwork is very, very important. When you are we uh, sailing, you wear something called the disposables. Uh, there is no rank in it. And that is why we are all one when we sail together. So, if you want to make friends, a submarine is the best environment to possibly come to. So, is this room always this bright and cool and comfortable? No, no, I guess uh, they've catered for your presence and that's why the lighting is like this. I can just show you a glimpse of how we normally operate. Can we switch off all the lights, please? Now you see us. Now you still see us a little bit. <laughs> we go down slowly. You still see us just a little bit. And now you have no idea where this voice is coming from. 
and this is exactly what the inside looks like when Absolutely. you're going quiet and you're going to attack mode. This is a really exciting environment when the lights are off. All the display panels are glowing yes. in greens and oranges and reds. Quite thrilling to be here. The main purpose of keeping the light off is to ensure that when we are watching from inside, we can see everything outside. Too much of uh, light inside the submarine would mean that your vision is impaired. Every time we sail out, there are days together when none of the crew is either able to see the sun and therefore day and night is purely by lights. Lights are on, which means it's day. You switch off the lights and it's night time for you. Hello, we're back. We're back, we're back. We were always there. If I had to stay out of the sun for five, seven, eight, ten days, I would go a little crazy. <laughs> Um, He's like already my a little crazy. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the sun, but it's a valid question. You said sun. You without the sun, you without the clouds. Does it require any sort of changes to the diet? Because you know you're away As from it. Our diets are surely a little special or a little different from right. we normally what we normally have. It does cater for a lot of vitamins and other essential ingredients in the meal. But uh, more importantly, we do regulate our uh, style of eating. Most of our meals, though not exactly boiled but are uh, health conscious meals where there is not much of frying required. I won't say this is a nice and open place but it's the least restrictive sort of area on the submarine. What would be the, like, the most difficult place to be working? Well, I've got two such places for you. We'll okay. show you around. A lot of the men have been saying the engine room is very, very hard. Engine room is hard because uh, of two reasons. One is naturally the heat is too much because of the engines running. It's almost deafening. And the second is the battery pit where you actually cannot walk. In fact, you've got to lie down on a trolley and then work your business through. Wow. We've heard about the two really tight restrictive areas. So how about we all go there and see if Rocky or I can fit into one of these Absolutely. areas. Absolutely. Would love to see you there. No place in the submarine looks very comfortable to work at, but this, the engine room, has got to be one of the most enclosed, uncomfortable looking spaces that I have ever seen. This looks more like a space station than a submarine. People are going in and out. There are guys walking around. The engine is about to be fired. And already this thing is so loud that you can hardly hear anything. Every possible inch of space is covered with valves and tubes. And now there are instructions being shouted past from one guy to the other. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? It's not just about firing those engines and getting out there. Remember, this, this is a war machine. So they not only have to get out there and go for a sail, they're actually fighting in battle conditions. And this is one of the hardest places that I've been in, even to stand. And there go the engines now! They're firing the engines!